I'm Aaron from Northwood Synthetics Oils.com. And today we have another oil change. This is for my daughter's car. It's a 2014 Buick Encore. And they came standard with uh, the 1.4 liter Ecotec uh, turbocharged motor. Um, you know I know that? Uh, well, it says it right here. And so, if you don't know, just for a tip, if you don't know anything about your vehicle, the best thing to do is to take your VIN, go and do a Google search for uh, VIN, VIN decoders, and you type in your VIN and it will tell you everything you need to know about, about, uh, about your motor about you know which motor you have, which transmission you have, what plant your car is built in. So the VIN number tells you all kinds of exciting things. But let's move on. So today we're going to put back the Amsoil Synthetic Suit Signature Series. Top, this is the top of the line that Amsoil has. This protects 75% more of of the industry standard oil out there so it goes way above and beyond so this is good for up to 25,000 miles or one year so after today we're going to be good for one year some people have gone up past 25,000 miles and have no trouble the, and of course we're going to use, we're going to start off doing, using the oil, the flush, the engine flush. This helps prepare the muller for new oil. This will clean uh, all the pistons and rings and valves and what, never, and anything else that's in there gooped. Um, I imagine we, we shouldn't be see too, anything too exciting from this uh, as I've known this car its whole life as somebody 70,000 just got it has 70,000 70, miles on it and uh, it's been well maintained um, so I'm not expecting any any real surprises of large deposits of sludge and uh, this oil calls for the small little filter the, with uh, the paper element. Now this it comes in plastic. Most uh, most of these filters don't come wrapped. All I have oil filters come wrapped to protect it. And don't forget, we have the, they send us, wrapped again, new rubbers. And before we put that rubbers on there, we can't forget about lubing our rubbers. We don't want dry rubbers. So this filter is good for up to uh, 15,000 miles. And the oil is good for 25,000. So, at 15,000 miles, what we'll do is we'll just replace the, the filter. And then we'll be good for the remainder of the time. So, what we'll do, we'll stir it up by putting it in our oil punch. Okay, so we have the, our car idling, running the the AMS oil engine flush, and while that's doing that, I want to show you how easy it is to go to the, my website and to find your engine oil. So you can go to NorthwoodSyntheticOils.com. And there's my website. So we'll tap on 
by AMS Oil. It takes me to AMS Oil's website. And then we'll tap on find the products you need. So we have a car, light truck. So it asks for the year, the make. So we have the 2014. The make is a Buick. And the model is an Encore. Now, we only have one option, is it for your motor, for the engine. Many times you may come in here and it may show you three, four, five different engines. And that's where, if you, if you don't know what engine you have exactly, then that's where looking up your VIN will tell you about it. Uh, many of them, sometimes there are flex motors in there that will run uh, flex fuel and uh, some of the others are, just have minor differences. Most of the time they take the same filter, but if you really want to verify that, that you have the right motor, uh, use a VIN decoder. So, and then we'll tap down Find Products. So, this gives us a choice whether we want an engine, transmission, drivetrain, transfer case, other fluids. We'll just do V wall. And I'll select the uh, the AMS oil here. Um, so. Right there, it tells you what you have. You can add it to the cart. Uh, let me back up once. Uh, another thing that this will tell you is is um, neat information about your oil um, capacity so this calls for 4.2 quarts and the oil drain plug gets put back in at 10 foot pounds And this is good with the GM Dexos 1 or the newer <coughs> Dexos 2. So it's always nice to know if you've never changed your oil before and you want to, how much oil to buy. So. We're still waiting. I'll come back when we're done with the flush. Okay. 
We've let, let the uh, car run for 15 minutes with the MZO engine flush. And we just loosened. It's a 10 millimeter. So, now to take off the oil plug and watch her spill out. Like I said, nothing too exciting here. This engine's been well maintained. Once we pour the oil out, we'll see what's what's at the bottom of it. So let me put. So let me move up to the top filter, or to the top filter on top here, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're going to take off the top filter. So this is a uh, 15, 16 socket. And it's a lot easier for you to use the uh, the swivel as it's a in there at an angle. There's our old filter. So what we'll do is we'll place the blue rubber with the new rubber and of course we got to keep our rubbers wet so um, what we do is just pop this off here basically this part snaps inside there there's the old filter So how we get that off is there's a little slot right there. So what I like to do is just take a flathead screwdriver, grab it up like that, and off she goes. So what we do is we'll quickly wipe this down. If this contains all old, old oil, we don't want that. Set that there, and then here's our new rubbers. So, what I'm going to do, I'm off camera here, but uh, I got fresh new oil. We got to make sure we get this nice and greased up so next time that we change the oil or change the filter I should say at 15,000 that the uh, that it spins out easily so the more the better
the wetter she gets, the happier she'll be. So this part can be a little tricky, getting it started. But you play with it for a little bit, and she'll go right on there. So we'll, again, keep, we'll put a little more in there. I'm just sticking my finger into the gallon jug and, and get my finger all full of liquid gold, the old AMS oil signature series. So we're all lubed up, ready to put it back in. We just have to take off our filter here. Here's our new filter. And so we pop that in inside there and it should snap. Okay. It didn't exactly snap, but it did, but it's not coming out. <laughs> so we know it's in there. There it goes. So that part's done. Okay, we're back. We got the car all back together. We got the bolts back in, filter in. Now we're ready to fill her back up with some liquid gold. Again, AMS oil signature series. Look at that. Stay in there and let it drain. We don't want to leave any of that looking gold still in the container. And that's it. One last thing I wanted to go over was uh, watch in a few days. I will do a giveaway. I will give away one of these, um, this is the, the, the two stroke for your weed eaters, uh, chainsaws, um, uh, leaf blowers. This is meant to be uh, 100 to 1. You just tear, tear it off right here, add it to one gallon of gasoline, and that would be at 100 to 1. I also give away at the same time uh, the uh, Abato metal protector. Uh, it's like a, an easy form of it's like WD-40 on steroids. It's uh, a penetrating oil, and um, it's great for your doors if you have a squeaky door or uh, anything. That that's corroded. <coughs> that's a great product. So, <coughs> to, so watch that in the future to see how to how to sign up for that. And uh, that concludes us tonight's uh, quick oil change.